Guys, it's happened. Kingdom Hearts 3 has leaked. And not just a digital copy, not just a small portion of the game, but the entire game in its physical form. So hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Aaron, and we are covering some devastating news today. And uh, I know I'm a little late to cover this news because it's been kind of floating all around the internet this entire weekend, but I wanted to address a couple key points. And I also wanted to use this video to remind each and every single one of you that this is a spoiler free channel for all video games. And I'm sorry, if you, if you want the game spoiled, you can go elsewhere. I just, I personally do not want to be spoiled. And the one thing that worries me the most about this news is the fact that the internet is not safe. I already try not to traverse the internet that often, but now I am in a very compromising position because I, I can't dig around for news like I used to. And that's just sad. It's just sad that it takes one freaking person who probably isn't even a diehard fan of the series to ruin everything for everyone. So, really quick, I thought I'd read the statement that uh, Tetsuya Nomura has uh, put out through the official Square Enix Twitter account, um, and it goes like this. We are aware that a small portion of Kingdom Hearts 3 has been circulating online before its official release. We are also aware as to how this has all happened. We're sorry to see this cause concern amongst our fans who are excited for the release. The whole team has been working together since yesterday night, Japan time, to investigate what we can do to better the situation. But first, we would like to ask that you do not share these videos. The game's epilogue and secret movie, which are the biggest spoilers in the game, are planned to be released at a later date just in case, so they will not be shown before the game's release. We want everyone to be able to equally experience the full game after its release, so we ask for your continued support on this matter. We're also very grateful that our fans have been warning each other already about the spoilers. Thank you very much. We're one month out from the release. Let's enjoy the game together when it releases on January 29th, 2019. So, first of all, everything that this man says is gold. I absolutely love him more than any game producer or director in, in any series for any company. And the reason is, it seems like everything that he has to say is so poignantly thought out and he cares so deeply about his work that you can hear it in every word that he writes or speaks or gets translated or whatever. And I've always loved him. And you, you can tell he cares more about the people who are enjoying his game than he does the company he works for and the money that he's making from it. You can just tell. So I'm just putting that out first. Secondly, this is crazy, guys. He anticipated this happening and removed the most important parts of the game as a DLC or a video download or a video stream for a future date. Do I think that this DLC is going to be a pay-for DLC? No. I think that it is something that was intended to be on the disc of the game, but was removed for this reason. This game is one of the most talked about games from the last decade. We've been waiting for this game for 13 years. It will be two months shy of a 14 year release period after the second game that this game comes out. And he understood that this game was going to be monumental, and it took those pieces out of the game. That is just insane. When I read this yesterday, I almost cried. Because I, I can't believe the amount of thought and detail that went into the planning of this game's release. It is astounding. That being said, I still will be posting content as often as I possibly can. Uh, I might try to stick to Pokemon content, which is sad because I feel like I was just starting to post Kingdom Hearts content and then this happened. And honestly, the last thing I want to do is try to look up news for you guys and spoil the whole game for myself. 
and I'm sorry I have to be selfish in that sense. I will probably stick to Pokemon news. I might stream some bit of Kingdom Hearts games up leading up to the release of the game, but I, I don't know how much I'm going to cover, and I'm just being completely honest with you guys. I'm so sorry. I've been a fan of this series since before the English release of the first game. When I saw those promotional videos that Disney had on the Disney Channel, for this game, for some reason, it's the visuals of the opening cinematic and the gameplay spoke to me in a way that no other game has and still ever will probably. And so this this game means a lot to me, a lot. And uh, I just wanted you guys to know and be on board with the fact that the Kingdom Hearts community is an incredible spoiler free community. Let's keep it that way, okay? If you see something, say something, but don't share it. That's the last thing you wanna do. There are so many potential spoilers for Kingdom Hearts 3 that almost every cinematic could be considered a spoiler. That's how insane this type of game is. And so I, I really would respect that you do not comment or share any spoilers in any of my videos in the comments, nothing. Because I can't always moderate them, so if you, uh, if you post it and you ruin it for somebody and it's on my channel, I would be pretty mad. So I would, I would really appreciate it if you keep that stuff to yourself, or you at least warn us. Um, I'm just really sad that I had to make this type of video, honestly. I'm very disappointed. I get how it happens, but this is terrible. This is not the way that I intended for this release. I'm really excited to wait and play it when it comes out, because I've done that in the past. I've never played a leak copy of anything because I want to enjoy it the way that it's intended to be enjoyed. That being said, you guys are awesome. I, I really appreciate all of your support. My channel's been growing and I, I, I can't believe the way that it's been growing. It, it's not blowing up and honestly that, that takes a big weight off from my shoulders, but we do have over 100 subscribers now. So I'm gonna do something special for you guys, either while I'm in Vegas or when I get back from Vegas because I'm gonna be there for a couple weeks. Um, I did write a book and I have to, it's all arriving to my mom's place in Vegas and my sister's gonna help me ship out all of the rewards to all of the backers. So I've got a busy couple of weeks ahead of me. So if I don't post regular content, I apologize in advance, but I will be doing something awesome for you guys very soon. I've been thinking about it for a long time now. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. If you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. If you like this video and you want more Kingdom Hearts content, let me know in the comments below. And uh, ring that bell to get notified for every time I upload or go live, because I'll be live quite a bit when I'm in Vegas. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You are awesome. Stay awesome.